Hi everyone! Today, Sam and I are in the mood for coloring. Come on and join us! Alright, Susie! Let's see what new things you know that I don't know yet! Oh, Sammy, get ready to be impressed! Whoosh! Ah, you want me to work on the same picture? Okay then! Not quite yet, actually! Whoa! <laughs> Hold on to your hat, Mr. Great Artist! But why do you need a scalpel? We are going to make a kind of stencil from this sketch. Remember to always be careful with sharp objects, guys, and try to work neatly, of course. There's no need to cut out everything, just the few most remarkable elements. I wonder where this is going. Ugh. Give us a thumbs up if you do too, guys! Okay, the brows, the eyes, and the lips are done. And we don't need this big part as well. Whoop. Now we will simply put our stencil on top of our sketch. This way. Uh-huh! The cutout parts perfectly align with the same elements on the sketch! That's right! And just to be safe, let's secure the whole thing with paper clips. Here we go! Shiver me chatters, I think I got it! Now we're gonna simply paint those parts with a brush, right? Well, you've got the point! Only instead of a paintbrush, we'll use this. Shiver me chatters! This is gonna be fun! What do you say about all of these colors? Looking cool, huh? Holy cannoli! Let me come up closer! Alright, you can proceed now, Sue! <laughs> Let's roll! Now, Sammy, check this out! I bet it wasn't as boring for you as simple coloring would have been, huh? Are you kidding me? That was awesome! I wonder what else you've got up your sleeve. Ooh. The next in our coloring workshop is this young lady. Huh! She's too blurry to be colored with the paint roller, don't you think so? You're right. This time, we're gonna do some sketching. The best part of this technique, guys, is that you don't have to be too precise. Just place your marker against the paper and create. Use any colors that you want. switch the width of the lines you're drawing by switching the chisel tip to the brush tip and back. Wow, what knowledge! The chisel tip will work best for the eyebrows if we use it like this. Up, 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 up. We can even add some shades and mix colors. Here we go. Okay, Sue, I want to try to do that too. Ah, what a bright color! Awesome! Ha, ah, I love that! Sammy? Where'd you go? I've got a terrific idea, Sue! Finish that sketch without me! Oh! <laughs> Sammy and his ideas! And there is even more yet to come! Sammy, we're waiting here! Ugh, oh, come on, where did he go? <sighs> what? Where did this come from? Oh, sorry, Sue, I had to run to the hardware store. And why exactly did you get this? Please don't tell me that your idea was to paint the walls in your room again. Actually, uh, yeah, the walls do bother me. But that's not the point! Better check this out! Are these watercolors? But I thought we were going with unusual coloring today. Stop being suspicious and make the big paintbrush rainbowy already! Okay, okay. In that case, the red color comes first. Guys, you can use any colors you want! While we prefer the Roy G. Biv palette. You know it, right? Well done, Susie! Now just make one nice diagonal stroke. Your wish is my command. Here we go. 
Guys, would you look at this? Amazing! See? I told you, my idea was brilliant! That's true. I really like this picture. Do you guys? Then give us a thumbs up. But how about something a little bit more complicated? Like a trip to Paris, for example. Should I go packing? <laughs> no, I'm gonna need your help here. Let's give this girl a remarkable hairdo. We need this. We're also gonna use a sponge brush like this one. And acrylic paint of our favorite colors. By the way, guys, we love painting and coloring. And there are a bunch of videos about that on our channel. Oh, you should totally check them out. Ooh. All right, people, let's get started. The paint should just go straight through the stencil. Light and fast touches will seal the deal. An important thing here is to work sequentially. Sue is doing the very first layer. And I'm gonna make the second one! We'll carefully take the first stencil off of our picture and let it dry. Only after that can we move on to the next step. Roses are red, violets are blue. Slime Sam with a sponge a great picture can do! <laughs> you see? Easy peasy. Nice poem, Sammy. And well done with these clouds and a moon. But we've got to move forward. There are three more layers to go. it must be to feel the wonderful city of Paris in your hair. You don't say, Sammy. Now this little Eiffel Tower will help us finish a few tiny details. And that's it. Watercolors will help us out with the makeup. And voila! A wonderful French lady portrait is finished. Oh, Here, then you had better stay with us, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, guys. And here's one more girl without a hairdo so far. What are we gonna draw in her hair? New York, London, Tokyo? <laughs> Actually, this time we'll go with some sparkly glitter. But first, we need to draw the outline of her hairdo with glue. Here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna go get all the sparkles for my secret stash. I know Sammy loves shiny things. <laughs> Guys, you don't have to really be precise here. And by the way, you can make anything else sparkly on this portrait. I'm gonna add some glue on the girl's lips as well. Who's ready to see my precious collection of glitter? Ha ha! Wow, Sammy, you really brought everything you had. And note that not everything is pink. Here. <laughs> well, in that case, I want to start with the darkest hue. Here we go. Guys, you know that you can totally follow your inspiration with this craft, right? Oh, yeah. Get creative, and you will get a one of a kind, very beautiful, and sparkly portrait. Susie, do you mind? A little bit over here, and just a pinch right there. I like this type of art. <laughs> Oh, I really like how this portrait turned out. Holy cannoli! But you're not saying that we're done here, right? I want to keep coloring! <laughs> there is one more technique that I've been long wanting to try. You should protect your tables for this, guys. Meet our last girl. Ooh, she looks like a girl I knew back in Tibidaba. Wait a second. Is that all drawn in a single line? Yep, cool, right? Awesome! In a few minutes, we'll try to repeat it in one single line as well. But first, let's prepare this special watercolor paper for the coloring. 
The secret is not to spare the water, because watercolors really love it. That's why, before you start working, you should secure your picture against the table with double-sided tape. And that part is done. Now we're just going to apply different watercolors onto the paper, creating a few random splashes and blots, like this. We'll use a brush to kind of direct the way they smear. Ah, that's a very professional color blending, Suzanne. <laughs> Thank you. Now it's time for my personal challenge. Just make sure that everything's dry before you do this, guys. Why don't we let Sue finish her last piece of art for today? And in a couple of seconds, we will take a look at everything! Hi guys! Together with Sam, we came up with a great idea! Actually, it was my idea! Okay, Sam came up with it. Yes, and it's super awesome and cool. Then spit it out, Sam. Uh, no, better you, Roger. The soap. Today we'll carve some soap. It's gonna be fascinating, especially if you concentrate on the sound. So, what do we start with? Let it be the black and white one! It looks like a zebra! And this one looks like a zebra that ate too many Skittles! Oh, now I also want Skittles! Well, we'll start with this one then. Guys, today we'll use the knife, so be very careful with it, and ask an adult to help. As you can see, we've made a few cuts in advance. Now listen. Now let's try the yellow one. Sure, Sam. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Roger, what about that beautiful soap? Why isn't it cut into small cubes? We don't need them this time. Guys, this soap is beautiful. And I love this smell. Roger, this was mesmerizing, but I still wish this soap had cubes. <laughs> Got it, Sammy.
are the beauty of nature. And beautiful soap. Oh, this is so relaxing. Oh, what a pretty black stone. Sam, do you know what it is? What? You won't believe it, but it's also a soap bar. A real masterpiece. <laughs> That's nonsense. Black soap doesn't exist. Look closely, Sam. Whoa, it's green inside. That's not all. If you cut the black cover from all sides, it becomes yellow. That was awesome, Roger. Like a magic trick. Is that one that you're holding in your hands also magical? <laughs> no. Actually, I just covered it with nail polish. But don't tell Sue, okay? Guys, honestly, I didn't think that we'll cut that much soap today. Now I really need to have a rest and drink some tea. Hold it, Roger. I brought more soap. Oh, Sam, I thought we were done for today. But it's so beautiful. I can't help cutting it too. Just one bar left. Let's cut it! No, Sam. Why? If it's the very last soap bar in the house, how will we wash our hands if we cut it? Oh, that's right. Psst, guys, don't go away. I got a prank for him. Ugh, here. Roger, I think we had a good time cutting the soap today. Let's finish this relaxing routine with a well-deserved piece of cake. Oh, really? Ah, Sammy, Sammy. I cut so much soap today. Did you really think that I would confuse it with a real cake? <laughs> 